you're no longer home. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will, um, I can stop the uh, video there, but let me go back and turn your video on. As the start video, do you see that pop up? Yes. Okay, click on that. Click on start my video. Ready? One, two, yeah. three. Ho! Boom, chicky, boom. There the man is. <laughs> All right, Jim, you're going to need to click, since you're now host, you're going to need to click. Do you see the thing at the top says broadcast? Do you, do you see that? Like something that says start broadcast? Oh, yeah, practice mode only. Recording. Yeah, so you'll want to yeah. click that, which is going to allow other attendees to start joining. Okay. <clears throat> and we want to do that before the top of the hour so that Facebook Live will start and such. So just, you know, when Jim clicks this, there could be other attendees start showing up. You won't be able to see them. You won't be able to hear them. So just be aware, um, you know, if they join early, they'll see some sausage making us just talking about where things are going. <laughs> I'll cut it on about three minutes before. It's uh, 10, 50, uh, 53 minutes now. I'll cut it on 56, four minutes to go. And then since we only have two speakers, Jim and I are, because we had somebody from Australia and they couldn't make it. It's like two o'clock in the morning and they had something else the next morning. So Jim and I are just going to, we'll take the third spot and we'll just share a little bit about why we're doing this and, you know, what, why we created Speakers Pathway, that kind of thing. So we'll, we'll use the spot. Any questions? Not at the moment. <laughs> Excited? <clears throat> yeah. Excellent. I know you're excited, Barry. You're you're always yes. excited. Yes. Beata, I, I have something else I want to show you. Okay. Show me. <laughs> Can you read that? No. Uh, me, uh, how about a second. that? Just a second here. I appreciate you. Did Aww. I tell you today how much I appreciate you? Oh, thank you. I, I can see the white part. Oh, okay. There you go. Now hold it up because I had the, I'll have to do that again. Be, be mindful of that. Do you see that, Bieta? Yes. You see the beach? That's where I live, right near there. Oh my God. <laughs> Can I visit you? No, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is going to be fun. Let's let's get some. Let's raise the vibration. Oh, get some yeah. good positivity out there. People out there need to hear your message. Yes. Del deliver, 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 and uh, this is fantastic. We are here to serve. It's almost like we know what we're doing, Jim. We do. <laughs> Yeah, almost. Okay. Well, don't tell anybody. I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh, so, yeah. watch this one, kids. Can you read that? Stress, Stress kills. Stress kills. But guess That's what? True. Say it again. We can Joy it. heals. Mm -hmm. Stress kills. Joy heals. <laughs> That's so true, isn't it? It's so true. All right, I'm going to go stealth your host, Jim. So I'm, I'm just going to duck out and uh, I'll be lurking on Facebook, making some posts and, and okay. having some fun. All right, you have, have a great time. Keep, right, keep the coffee pot on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and, and Don. Hey, Don, don't you. go away yet. Yeah. Oh, well, thank okay. you for organizing this. This is an um, important um how should we say an, an important part of the health and well-being of the planet and thank the inhabitants thereof thank you very much it's our it's like you said here to serve that's what we're doing right okay all right <laughs> okay now that don's gone stealth i'm going to go ahead and click the broadcast button so I'll start talking at about, uh, oh, we, we can just be visiting right now, but I'll start the, um, the broadcast right out on top of the hour. So three, two, one. We're now broadcasting all the 10 days. So if you're joining us and you're listening in, we haven't started the official broadcast yet as far as starting, but with us today is Barry Shore and Bieta, I'm going to just say, 
beautiful read. <laughs> I may got to get me by. Uh, but uh, Mary's going to be talking to us about how stress kills and joy, you know, heals. And Bieta will be talking to us about how our thinking will impact our outcome. And that's so true. It's, it's kind of like a mental GPS, isn't it? We're really looking forward to do that, being with them, having them share their message with you. And we're about two minutes away from going live on Facebook. We're live streaming right now. So, Mr. Barry, would you like to tell them about Joy Hills? And would you like to show them the, the card there right quick, if you don't mind, sir? Just say something and uh, okay. I'm going to be get speaking your... today about this. Stress kills. Joy heals. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Now, for you folks that uh, it may not have seen our radio show, heard it, I should say, we had Barry on our radio show this past Friday, and I mean, he was just one bundle of energy. You could just feel the vibration coming through the airways there, and uh, it was really exciting. And uh, we're just so glad to have him because I know what's in store for you for both of these wonderful guests, these beautiful people today. And let me just simply say, you're in for a treat. So stay tuned. We're about 30 seconds out from going officially live. So I'll kick this thing off and we'll get a rocking and rolling. And we're gonna have some fun today. F you, Jim. Remember that? F you. Oh yeah. Put the two ends, <laughs> put the two ends in there for fun. <laughs> yeah, Beata, you're gonna hear about that. I'm gonna say F you to you. <laughs> You're gonna love it. <laughs> I'm gonna love it. <laughs> let me uh, let me mute you now and uh, get ready to go. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jim Grant, and I got my little. Let me stop Barry's um, picture here. Got quite a bit of work to do here. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Nope. Nope. I might've done something wrong there with Barry. <laughs> anyway, we'll get him back here. Um, there we go. I apologize for that. Having to work all the keys here and do the hosting too. It gets a little bit of challenge, but that's okay. We're here and we're so thankful ladies and gentlemen that uh, you're with us today. Um, very quickly. I want to talk about speakerspathway.com comms and speakers pathway coalition brings you part of this program here up in the upper right corner if you go to speakerspathway.com you can actually click on dandy don's tedx training and dandy don is an individual that uh, he's got this great talking ability speaking ability coach trainer he is a speaking geek he's got the five steps to your kick butt ted talk please get that ladies and gentlemen it's worth a lot and we're also affiliated with Network Together. There are a group of people out in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Network Together, they bring business people and organizers together from all walks of life, entrepreneurs, uh, from insurance agents to investors to accountants to you name it. And they have five pillars. One of those major pillars is giving back to the youth and the community. A very worthy cause. If you'd like to know more about them, go to ntevents.net. That's ntevents.net. Dot net. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm just so pleased to have uh, Barry with us today. And let me make sure I click on Barry there. And I want to introduce Barry here, if I may. Okay, here. Got a little problem here with this thing here. I tell you what, if it's okay with you, uh, Bieta, I'm going to go ahead and introduce you first. And while I clear up the uh, little glitch there we got with Barry, um, there we go. And I'm going to just say Bieta is going to be our first speaker. And she's going to be talking to you about our thinking and our, and let me put it here in English here now. She's just going to be talking to us about how our thinking actually results in our, out, in our outcome. Am I correct on that? That is very correct. Thank you so much. I'm so happy for being here. Jim, okay. So Give me one second here and I'll mute myself and that way the stage is yours. 
Hi, welcome everyone. I start with the question, which one has the greater abilities to stop us from achieving our dreams and living fully? Our circumstances or thinking? Keep this question in mind while I tell you a story. I was just a seven years old when after a car accident and a brain injury, for the first time in my very short life, I experienced the crushing power of you cannot. Hmm. You cannot be like the other kids anymore. You cannot expect too much from yourself. You cannot be stressed. You cannot be excited. You cannot, you cannot, you, oh, these words were like all the recordings in my head. I really dislike them. Every time when I went to the doctor for a checkup, I prayed for him to say, you are fine. Go and do great things. Hmm. That permission never came from him. And I did not give it to myself either. I was living that limiting story for a very long time. Starting on the project and quitting halfway because I thought that I cannot. Oh yes, I had dreams, desires. I dreamed of traveling the world, meeting people, speaking different languages. Well, with languages, there is, some, there is still some work to do. I speak Polish, where I come from, and I speak English now. But since when I'm in Poland, I mix Polish with English, English with Polish. So I sometimes feel like my both languages are broken. But well, anyway, I dreamed huge. I dreamed about the stages and changing life. But I thought I couldn't. Guess what my outcomes were. Not too pretty. I felt like I was in a constant fight for jobs, for relationships, for being seen, for being picked, for being loved. There were always some walls separating me from what I truly wanted. What an exhausting living. Don't you think so? And by the way, have you ever felt that way? I always love to read. One morning when reading some article, with my coffee, I've noticed the following statement. What you focus on, grow. Hmm, that made me think. I looked at my desires. What a beautiful picture, bright, full of hope and happiness. And I looked at my thoughts doubt, fear, frustration, anxiety, and disempowerment. Even moving across the ocean did not help. I only experienced new walls and new obstacles. Why? What was I doing wrong? Are you ready? I was focusing on the problem. And listen to that. When you focus on the problem, you are focused only on difficulties and the barriers. When you focus on the problem, you can't find solutions. 
you can only solve a problem when you are focused on the solution. I decided then and there to shift my thinking and align it with my true desire. That's when everything changed for me. Now I'm going to say something what I believe is important, so please pay attention. The way we think affects how we show up. The way we think affects how we behave, how we interact, how we communicate, and how we live our beautiful life. Hmm. You might think now, okay, Beata, okay. So what do I need to do? What do I need to, to change it, to stick with this positive thinking, this good thought? Well, first, you need the courage. You need courage to do the inner work. You have a plenty of time right now. And yes, I tell you, the work is not easy at first. The work is or can be dirty, muddy, and there is no guarantee. But if you want something, you put an effort. I'm going to warn you, your mind will fight the change. We just don't, humans, they don't like change. Your mind will say, come on. It wasn't that bad. We were safe. Stop stretching me. I'm okay. And you too. Mm, these days, when I hear that chatter in my mind, I just roll my eyes and say, really? I don't think so. Let's do the work. So the first is you need the courage to do the inner work. Second, you need awareness. Where you are or where do you want to go? What outcomes do you want? Are they aligned with your values and desires? Courage, awareness. And the third, you need some tools. Some tools that can support that transformation. And we all know that we should, we should is what we say, live healthy nutrition, exercises, we know about uh, benefits of yoga, meditation, breathing. There are so many tools. However, for me, I found a tool that helped me the most in a very challenging time, times of uncertainty. The tool is so simple that many people do not value its power. What is it? Journal writing. Journal writing helped me, and it's, it's all over the, re the researchers you can find on the internet are saying, journal writing will really help you to release the stress. We are under a lot of stress this day. Journal writing will help you to stay grounded, to focus on the facts. We need facts this day. We need solutions. Journal writing helped me and can help you. And I use it all the time with, for me and with my clients to narrow, to get to the core of this inner chatter, this thinking that is stopping us from many, many beautiful things in life. Well, it, you will also get aware of your own BS. What is BS? Belief systems that run our daily life. I, for me, it was, I'm foreigner. I have an accent. No one is going to listen to me. And here we go. Here I am. Um, what else? 
journal writing, and I think these days is one of the best benefits of that, will help you to process the emotion. There are so many emotions, not necessarily the good ones, that we don't know what to do with it. We don't know what, where to put them. So journal writing will help you to vent and release this emotion. Now, now you might think, why she is talking about this story? What this story has to do with what we are living in now? As we are all dealing with the worldwide coronavirus situation, we all may experience new stresses and new fears. We've never been through anything quite like this before. You may have anxiety and uh, about, for example, about catching the virus or fears around having not enough food uh, or worry about your friends and family that are far away, like my mom, she lives in Poland. If so, I highly encourage you to start writing. Ask yourself question in your notes. Question the fear. What is really true in what I am afraid of? And write it down. You will see what you can do about it, what you are in power and what you need to let go of or ask for help. Remember, focus on the solution. We need facts, we need real evidence, and it what make us safe, make us feel safe. We are. Before I finish, I want to share with you one of my favorite quotes of Albert Einstein. The world as we have created, it's a process of our thinking. It cannot be changed without changing our thinking. Change your thinking, change your outcome. You can do it. I believe in you. Thank you so very much for having me today. I love you all. Namaste. Thank you so very much for just, you know, your beautiful message there. And most importantly, I want to personally thank you since I goofed up and hit the wrong key over there and couldn't find Barry for jumping <laughs> in there and taking the first place. I really do appreciate that for you, mate, you picking up the ball after I fumbled it. But be, would, would you be kind enough to share with us what is your website for people that want to get in touch with you and your email address, please? Absolutely. So my website is Beata, B-E-A-T-A, lifecoaching.com. All together, Beata, lifecoaching.com. And my email is Beata, B-E-A-T-A, at BeataLifeCoaching.com. Good deal. Good deal. And ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to know more about Beata, she's got a wonderful story. You're from Poland ori originally. Is that correct? I'm from Poland. Absolutely. Yes, that's yeah. true. Well, you know, I didn't know anyone had an accent until after I, I grew up in the country. So after I left the country, that's, that's when I realized that people had accents. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's easy for me now. Because now when they ask you, where are you from? Where is your accent from? And I'm saying from Texas. So <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That, that'll work out real good because down here we got all kind of accents, but, <laughs> but again, I want to thank you again for your wonderful message. And it's very, very spot on about, you know, it's kind of like Zig Ziglar says, your attitude will determine your altitude and all that. And that's, and you've lived that life and that's part of who you are. And that's what made you what you are. And for you to share your Absolutely. story with everyone, 
And we just want to thank you so much for volunteering and raising your hand and say, I want to be part of this. I want to give back. I want to be on the messages of inspiration, hope, and support. This is episode number three, and you can find it at Speakers Pathway um, Coalition page there on Facebook. If not, go to Speakers Pathway there at, on YouTube. We have all of them there. So, Bieta, thank you again. Have a wonderful day. Bless you. You're a beautiful lady thank inside you. and out. We're so glad that you joined us today. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be speaking with uh, Mr. Barry Shore. And I'm going to see if I can do this right for you now, Barry. <laughs> Make sure I don't hit the wrong, <clears throat> the wrong key there. And let's see here. Hey, there he is. Let me, uh, let me end this. Cancel the spotlight there for Vieta. If I can do this. Let's see here. This thing is fighting me a little bit today. Can you hear me, Jim? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. There you are. And I just want to say thank you so much for joining us today. You're going to be talking to us about how stress kills and joy heals. And ladies and gentlemen, let me just humbly say we had Barry on our radio show last Friday. And it was a powerful message. And Barry, I'd like for you to take a little time after I get off the video here and give you a chance to speak. I'd like for you to share about you know, what you went through and, and being a paraplegic and what you bounced back from, because that really will, it made my problems in life seem minute. Thank you so much. And sir, the stage is now yours. Good day, beautiful, bountiful, beloved, immortal beings and good looking people. And remember, you're good looking because you're always looking for and finding the good. The name of this talk really is called The Joy of Living. And you have consciously and conscientiously tuned in because you care most in the whole world about one thing. And it's good that you care about this. You care most about you. Y-O-U, E-W-E. And that's great because when you become the best you possible, you make the world a better place, the kind of place we all want to live in. You create more harmony, more joy, happiness, peace, and love in the world. <clears throat> now, in this particular segment, we're going to deal with the three fundamentals of life. And those three fundamentals are life. Your life has purpose. <laughs> and the corollary to that is the result is that when you know your life has purpose, you can go mad. Now, in this case, mad is a great acronym. Remember, an acronym is the first letter of each word or the first word, the first letter in each sound of a sentence. And we use that to unlock powerful secrets. So in this case, go mad means go make a difference because your life has purpose you can go make a difference and the third part is that by discovering and unlocking the power and the secrets of everyday words and terms that we can become the best you possible again when you're best you you create more harmony and bridges and build joy happiness peace and love so what's a simple example simple example is www now we're what coming to the world right now through www because if you ask anybody what does it stand for obviously it has something to do with the internet correct and that's true factually speaking zoom is on the internet well in our world though www stands for drum roll fanfare da -da -da -da. what a wonderful world and what a is a word w-h-e-t-a what a wonderful world. And of course, a tip of the hat and a big thank you to wonderful Louis Armstrong <coughs> Satchmo for enabling that song to go worldwide and touch hundreds of millions, if not billions of people around the planet. And whenever you hear the opening bars of that song, What a Wonderful World, right away, what do you do? You smile. Now, SMILE is one of the greatest acronyms that you can learn internalize and utilize throughout your life because smile s-m-i-l-e stands for seeing miracles in life 
every day. <laughs> Seeing miracles in life every day. Now, invariably, when I'm speaking with people, whether it's 50 people or 5,000, people will come up to me afterwards or they put messages up on the board and say, hey, Barry Shore, I've been up for hours already. I haven't seen any miracles. And I ask them, are you here? Can you hear? Can you see? Do you have water to drink? Do you have food to eat? Do you have a place to sleep? Do you have family? Do you have friends? Those are all miracles. And the ability to see them is what makes life great, purposeful, and therefore you can go mad and go make a difference. Now, interestingly enough, think about this. Millions of people didn't get out of bed this morning. A million plus people around the world didn't get out of bed because they died. You didn't die. Hello, you're here. Thank you. Millions of people also didn't get out of the bed this morning because we're in the midst of a pandemic and because people regularly are infirm. People are stuck in a hospital bed. Your humble host, Barry Shore, 15 and a half years ago, September 17th, 2004 to be exact, I was standing up in the morning, just like I hope 99.99% of everybody watching this right now, hale and hearty, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. That evening, I was in the hospital paralyzed from my neck down completely. I became what's called a quadriplegic overnight. And it was not from an automobile accident. It was not from a spinal injury. It was a rare disease actually called French polio, Guillain-Barre syndrome. It took over my body and I was now completely paralyzed. The only thing that moved was my mouth. I was in hospital many months. I was in a hospital bed in my own home for two years. Couldn't turn over by myself. I was in a wheelchair for four years. I had braces on both my legs, from my hips to my ankles, and that was progress. Now, thank God today, I'm vertical and ambulatory, albeit with the help of a six and a half foot walking wand made for me by a Zen master, but I still can't walk up a stair by myself or a curb, and I have help 12 hours a day, seven days a week, but you hear my voice. You see my being, positive, purposeful, powerful, and pleasant. Because when you see miracles in life every day, you become enthused and energized. Now, I have to share with you, just last week, my eight-year-old niece came over to me and said, Uncle Barry, can we spell smile S-M-I-E-L? And I thought about it, said, smile, smile, why not? And I asked her, how come? Because she said, then it would stand for seeing miracles in everyday life. <laughs> Out of the mouth of babes. Is that not fabulous? Seeing miracles in everyday life. We can do that. In the, no matter what the circumstances are, all the vicissitudes of life, seeing miracles in everyday life, seeing miracles in life every day. When you do that, you create the kind of world we all want to live in. Now, create is a great acronym. It stands for causing rethinking, enabling all to excel. And therefore, you use neural linguistic programming, use this amazing brain, which has 50 billion cells in it, and a trillion synapses connecting them for more than just deciding what kind of latte you want today. By the way, which is not a bad thing. Now, I have to interrupt my own self and just tell you that in the course of what I'm going to say, I use a lot of four-letter words, and I even use the four-letter FU words. And I do it for the shock value and because it's fun. Now, the four-letter words that we use, of course, are live, life, give, grow, hope, free. <laughs> You're free of all those chains around you. Now, the F-U word that I use, because it's fun. Oh, there it is right there. F-U, capital N, capital N. Now, of course, people come to me and say, but Barry, sure, fun is only spelled with three letters. Not in our world. Remember, our world is the world of the positive, the purposeful, the powerful, the pleasant. F you, everybody. And after you get off this and you go later and see your family, your friends, and you have a big smile on your face, remember that stands for when you point the finger and say, F you. Remember to add right away, capital N, capital N. Say, where did you get that? So I listen to Barry Shore. And we talk about the joy of living. Now, I want to ask everybody to think about this. By the way, think is a great acronym that stands for to harness insightful neural connections. With these two words that we're going to learn, if you say these two words consciously and conscientiously for the rest of your life, we will change the world and make it the kind of place we all want to live in. And those two words are, drum roll, fanfare, da 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
because thank is a great acronym that stands for to harmonize and network kindness. To harmonize and network kindness. The Dalai Lama has been quoted as saying, I read in his writings, be kind whenever possible. And it's always possible. <laughs> kind is a wonderful acronym. It stands for keep inspiring noble deeds. So when you go into the coffee shop, you order a fancy latte for $5.25, and somebody brings it to you, say, thank you. you go in the coffee shop, somebody order, you order your, your latte, and you wait a couple minutes. Nobody brings it. You go up to the counter. You say, oh, I'm sorry, we forgot, and we'll bring it to you later. Okay, a couple of minutes more goes by. You bring it to you. still say, thank you. You're walking out of the coffee shop. It's raining. Somebody holds the door open for you. Thank you. You're walking out of the coffee shop. Somebody slams the door on you. Thank you. You're in traffic. and You're late for an appointment. Somebody cuts you off. You say, thank you. Get up in the middle of the night, and you stub your toe, and it hurts. You say, thank you. To harmonize and network kindness. Everyone, everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. Be kind always. Keep inspiring noble deeds. Now, this particular section has been termed stress kills, joy heals, because it's true. It's the title of my upcoming book, and stress is the hub of the wheel for ailments that really kill people. All the other things are proximate results. But it's stress at the, in the middle that we don't allow ourselves to ameliorate, or mitigate, or get rid of that really causes the problems. What are those problems? We know what they are. High blood pressure, heart issues, obesity, anxiety, skin ailments, diabetes, depression, insomnia headaches, gastrointestinal problems, all the result of stress. So how do you mitigate it, minimize it, maybe even eliminate it? Well, one of the best ways, first of all, to do that is to find out what color is your stress. Huh? What is that? Well, if you go to my website, barryshore.com, actually www, what a wonderful world, dot, barryshore.com, B-A-R-R-Y-S-H-O-R-E, you can take for free the stress test and find out what color is your stress. And when you do, then you begin to understand more about who you are and how you can mitigate it, minimize it, maybe even eliminate it, due to the 11 strategies for living in joy daily, which I have promulgated and put into a program that's free and available based on what I've been through, through paralysis, through learning how to swim again after being in paralysis. And just everybody should know this, you go to the website, you'll find this out. I now swim two miles a day, six days a week. I've been doing that for over a dozen years. I've get, I had logged over 7,600 miles, which is basically swimming from Los Angeles, California to Hawaii, from Hawaii to Fiji, and Fiji to Sydney. Now, I'm not swimming right now because we're in a pandemic where it's shut down. But when you come back, hello, because those are the processes. Good food, exercise can help mitigate, reduce, and eliminate stress through joy. Because what does joy do? It supports longevity. It's purpose-driven. It makes you calm and aware. It, bring, it stimulates the brain, gives you a healthier lifestyle, boosts the immune system, fights stress, fights pain better sex. Everybody likes that one. Opens up the twin channels and unclogs the channels of giving and receiving, therefore enabling you to have greater intimacy than you ever had in years. That's the beauty of joy. I want to urge you all to do one other thing here. When you go to the site, barryshore.com, you'll be able to access the Keep smiling cards. You say, keep smiling cards? Yes. Well, I'm going to hold one up right now. If you're able to read it, that's great. It reads, keep smiling. Yes, this is a foundation that I started a number of years ago. Almost, more than 2 million keep smiling cards have been given out around the world in 27 languages for free, just to pay shipping or even right now. You can email them. You just go to the site. You can do that. Begin to send out keep 
smiling cards. Mm -hmm. It's free. It's the way to touch people because now we're in the world of sharing, sharing goodness, opening up, becoming a cog, a channel of goodness, a child of God. Because when we share the idea of WWW, what a wonderful world. Wow. Another great acronym, acronym, words of wisdom, words of wonder, smiles, seeing miracles in life every day or seeing miracles in everyday life create, causing rethinking, enabling all to excel, think, thank, to harness and cipher neural connections, to harmonize and network kindness. F you, everybody. F you, capital N, capital N. So my blessing to all of us is go forth, live the blessing, spread the seeds of joy, happiness, peace, and Love. Go mad. Go make a difference. Wow, Barry. Thank you so very much. I love hearing you talk. And, and brother, when you were on the radio show that this past Friday, it just blew me and Don away. We were so honored to have you on our show. And it just really blows me away that how far you've overcome, you know, being struck from being a paraplegic and you've swam 7,600 miles. My and keeping on goodness. doing it, Jim, keep going. That's the there genius you. of life. We keep growing and going. You certainly do. And I've been to your website there at barryshore.com. If someone wanted to get in touch with you, your email address, would you be kind enough to share that, sir? B-A-R-R-Y, Barry, at barryshore.com. And I urge people to contact me. Let's reach out together and spread joy, happiness, peace, and love. Love stands for living on vibrant energy. There you go. I like that. When you were talking, a couple of things popped in my mind. You know, when, like when someone cuts you off in traffic, hey, so that, that person has nothing to do with you. It really didn't have anything to do with you. It just, if you feel how that individual upset you, that's, you know, that's your problem, not his or the her, whoever cut you and off. And let's, let's give a big uh, applause to Beata, who came be just before me and also mentioned about thinking. So you just said it right, Jim. Hello. That person has not done doing it. The person wasn't out to hurt me. <laughs> so mm -hmm. let's keep our thoughts on the solution of what am I doing here? I'm here to serve. Hello. The, great, the joy of living can be summed up in one word, giving. So keep focused on the good stuff, everybody. Just say thank you to Harmonize and Network Kindness. Absolutely. And I just really enjoy hearing you. I know a lot of people out there are going to be a lot of people, a multitude of people are going to be blessed by your message and all. And also too, when you were talking, um, I, I like, a you know, music means a lot to me. In 1970, Joe South had a hit, hit song. It called Walk a Mile in My Shoes. And the lyrics is Walk a yeah. Mile in My Shoes before you criticize and accuse because you don't know what burden someone else may have in their life. And that's a perfect opportunity for you to go mad with them, isn't it, sir? Yeah, go mad. Remember, everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. Therefore, mm -hmm. be kind always. And that's yeah. what, that is the greatest medicine for this pandemic. Kindness is a, is a more powerful, potent, potent, powerful, pleasant way of getting rid of this pandemic around the world. If we do that, that's the virus we want to spread. It's contagious. Catch it. Share it. Do it. Smile. <laughs> Absolutely. Barry, I want to personally thank you so much for being with us today. And I want to personally thank you for raising your hand and saying, I want to be part of the you know, this, this program, because we, we, uh, we're going to share in just a few minutes when Don gets back. I believe Don is on board with us. By the way, Jim, I saw a number of questions come up on the board while I was speaking. People sent in some issues. I don't know. Do you, do you see any? Oh, uh, okay. I didn't see them on mine, but, uh, okay. anyway, anyway, uh, 
Yeah, you know, I just wanted to, you know, just say that, you know, for you to be, want to be a part of it. I was excited when I saw your name there. As I have many other speakers because I know what you brought to the table and I knew what Vieta was going to bring to the table. And this, you, you guys have made our show a very, very successful. And Dandy Don, would you like to say something to Barry? I'm going to turn the mic over to you, sir. Joy. I will never <laughs> say joy. I will never hear the word joy ever again, Barry. So thank you so much. I, I don't, you know, you, what you had, what you shared today are going to touch many people who are, who are sitting there. Maybe there's not enough joy. And I guarantee you, there's a lot of people sitting at home right now on quarantine, maybe ill, who there's, they're not feeling that joy. So your words of inspiration and uplift are unbelievable. So thank you so much. Well, actually, hopefully believable. Fully and believable. believable. Oh, yeah. Right. Believable. Joy. <laughs> By the way, uh, for you, every, people watching, Beata, this is for you also if you're still there. For Jim, for Don, Beata, myself, but for everybody watching, which God willing is millions of people. You ready? Here is a big, we'll call it a zug, a Zoom hug. One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, there we go. I think I might have had my spleen like severely cramped right there. I got a cramp. Thank you, Barry. Yeah. Very we good. want to thank all of our wonderful guests, Vieta and Barry. My goodness gracious, you made a wonderful presentation for us. And we want to thank you very, very much and hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. You guys take so, care. I think That's that, Jim, Jim I, thought, I, I thought we would take just a few minutes and share a little bit since we don't have our third speaker today, we share a little bit about why we're doing this and okay. what some of the origins are. Is that okay? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. So yeah, Jim and I and the team at Speakers Pathway, we were having our executive team meeting uh, about a week ago. In fact, it was so exactly a week ago today. And we were sharing, you know, we had a number of items on our agenda, right? We we're running our team meeting a number of items on our agenda, but what we really, started focusing on is how each one of us were feeling. How are we feeling? And as we went around the virtual room, it was a Zoom meeting. What we found is, you know, everybody was kind of having some kind of a struggle, you know, with, with something in their life, whether they knew someone who was ill or they were afraid of what it was going to do to their plans or book tours. And um, so we got talking about what, what could we do at Speaker's Pathway? What could we do at Speaker's Pathway to really improve the lives of people and to serve more? Right, Jim? Jim, that's kind of what the conversation turned to. It really was because the, uh, our focus has always been on what we can do to help others. But this, uh, with this crisis on us now with the uh, coronavirus and all, it just really took it up a notch. And everybody just says, hey, what can we do to reach out and help people? Because we know once we reach out and we start helping people, we're not only going to be blessed, they're going to be blessed. And we bless others first, we're going to be super blessed. And that's our, that's our why. We want to reach out and bless people and, you know, help them in their hour of need. That's what we're about. And Jim, is your video pinned? Uh, it looks like the video is maybe pinned to stay on you and not be in voice control. Oh, let's see here. Check all you see is me. All I see is you. <laughs> let me let me check it here right quick. Because usually it's voice activated. It it switches yeah. over. Yeah, because yours. Uh, you don't you don't see. I, I see you the whole time. Okay. Yeah, well, I see you the whole time. Yeah. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we at our at our team meeting said, what can we what can we do? And since we are an online training company, we tr train entrepreneurs who want to monetize their message in a bigger and better way. We do all kinds of stuff online, constantly doing webinars and Zoom things. We said, hey, what if we did a virtual stage? We just opened the floodgates and we just said, hey, if you have a message of inspiration, hope and support, we want to offer you the opportunity to share our virtual stage and we're going to share this out with the world. And in 24 hours, we had over 60 speakers registered. And as of now, we have about 110 speakers registered. And it's just going to keep growing. So that, that was the genesis, right, Jim? It really was. And it really amazed us that so many people just, like I say, raised their hand and say, deal me in. 
And uh, what was really special about each one of these speakers, the ones that we've had on, the ones that's going to be coming on, nobody but nobody says, hey, what kind of money are you going to pay me? That, that, that never even came up at all. They just want to know, hey, what do you need from me? How can I contribute? How can I be a blessing to others? That's the kind of heart that we were looking for, number one. That's the kind of speakers that we have on the program that's, you know, that's coming up and we've had in the past. But most importantly, that is what motivates people is the heart. And that's what we're looking for. Yeah. And so we were very, very excited that so many speakers stepped up and said, I want to be part of this. I want to, I've got a message to share, an uplifting message, an inspiring message, a message of hope. And so that's what we're bringing to you every single weekday, Monday through Friday, until we kick the butt of this virus. <laughs> we're, we're, <laughs> our, we're looking to raise the vibration in the universe, bring so much positivity that it, it, we make, we make the butterfly effect, right? Where the, the flapping of the, these, these electrons in the fiber optics help to change the universe. So, and we're so happy that we're attracting service-based speakers. Our story is of service too, Jim. We created Speakers Pathway mostly out of, out of service, right? We certainly did. We, we saw a need out there and we felt that there was a lot of people not being served. And we were part of that group. So we could have done one or two things. We could have complained or we could have done something. And we decided to do something and create Speakers Pathway. And I'm so glad that we did, Don. I really have because, you know, I'm going to tell a little story out of school right quick. It took one of our members, the lady comes to mind is Sophia Olivius. And uh, she's the one that refers to Speakers Pathway as family. I wasn't smart enough to figure that one out myself, Don. <laughs> but that's the way that our members look at us and look at the entire group, the executive training directors, all the members, me and Don. Uh, we're family, and we're proud of that. That's something we've earned. Yeah, and what, what we started this, because Jim and I met at a, at a speaking academy, and if you've ever looked at, at speaker training, it's pretty expensive. It can be two to four thousand dollars a day. That's what Jim and I paid to go to several of these academies because we really wanted to improve and work on our speaking. And so, in the process of doing this, we kept crossing paths. And what we saw over and over again was that, you know, for if there were ten people in the course, two two out of ten they were at the right place at the right time, and they were able to really make use of that very very expensive training. But eight out of the ten, they either weren't ready or they didn't get the kind of support that they needed afterwards. And so like Jim said, we come, we started off just complaining about it. Right. <laughs> but then, then we said, let's do something about it. We really did. And most importantly, uh, Don and I, like I said, we, we kept our paths kept crisscrossing and we, we just kept uh, complaining to each other about the same things. And we saw some things that just, we didn't feel it was right. And, um, that's one of the wonderful things that uh, it's a good starting point is that when you realize something is not right and someone's not being treated right and you're in that same boat, change it. And you have the authority to do that. And th these are the times when uh, leaders become proactive while followers will become reactive. And while we all may be cons you know, confined to our homes or placed on what we call shelter in place, we may have to be, you know, hanging close to the house, but there's no reason for us to be in solitary confinement. And that's, what we, that's why we're doing this, because we want to reach out with inspiration, hope, and support. And that's why we got all of these good speakers here. And if you notice, there's been no sales, no sales at all, because it's all about sharing and caring. And that's, that's, that's what it's about. So this is, this is our story of service. You know, the Speaker's Pathway came about because of Jim, Jim and my desire to solve a problem, to serve people who weren't being served. What we saw was, was out there. And we, we attracted a group of trainers. We're so blessed to have them as part of our team. They are part of the reason that mm -hmm. we're doing this, right? We kind of brainstormed as a team how Speaker's Pathway could be a positive force in the universe how we could be of service to people. So this is, we're, we're, I'm just so blessed to be a part of this team. I'm so blessed to be a part of this initiative 
these programs that are going out every day. And, uh, and of course, Jim, you know, couldn't, couldn't do it without you. Oh, well, thank you, sir. And it, what really amazes me as you were talking about that, Don, is that everybody just, you know, they just pitched right in. What, what, what do you want to do? What can I do? You know, that sort of thing. And it was really exciting for us. And one of the individuals I want to shout out to our executive training director is Bill Heinrich. Bill will be with us tomorrow on the show about surviving versus thriving. And Bill is a, he's just a high level business coach. Most importantly, he said, um, you know, he talks about how we can actually, you know, become, let me, let me change something here. Okay. Uh, there we, there go. we go. You see me now? Can yeah. you see me now? I I'm lost sorry. you there for a while. <laughs> you see, when we say we put this thing together in a hurry, <laughs> we did. <laughs> I'm not making this up because being the host and also pushing all the buttons and all that, you know, cutting on cameras and off cameras and putting the right camera in the right place. I mean, you know, but that's okay because we're focused on the content. But Bill Heinrich, he focuses on about how to get clarity in your life because that's one thing that's very important. And the reason I mentioned Bill is because if you go to speakerspathway.com, if you have some doubts in your mind, if you're not real clear on what you want to do, get in touch with Bill. And he will schedule a 30 minute free complimentary talk with you about clarity and help you to give you an example, Don, I remember that time we were talking to him and he mentioned to me about <clears throat> when I said, I made a decision. He says, Jim, do yourself a favor. Don't ever make another decision. He says, make options instead. Because once when you make a decision, you put everything in a box and you're going to force that box and it enslaves you in the process. That's just a snapshot of what he's, what his clarity and his mind, his message about. And, you know, also tomorrow will be Brian Williams. He's going to be working. His topic is about working from home and how to make your, vir your virtual team productive. That's a great message for this day and time. And our third speaker tomorrow will be Bridget Keene. I love this one here. Bridget, I can't wait to hear this. How laughter can help us make it during the tough times. That's going to be a great, great message. And Don, to have these good, wonderful people here and have them be wanting to be a part of what we're doing here, it's just truly a blessing. I miss, you know, I'm amazed at how fast it came together. Yeah, and like you say, you know, it's it's perfect and it's imperfection. <laughs> you know, we are sure we I'm got some, we got, we got some little hiccups here and there, but the what's important is the messages that are getting out to the world. And so we're live streaming this every single day on Speakers Pathway Coalition Facebook page. We're going to be looking to produce these into individual videos, share them on our YouTube channel, share them with the speakers. I would love to touch hundreds of thousands or maybe a, over a million people with these message of inspiration, hope, and support that um, Speakers Pathway is just we're proud and honored to be, to be behind. Absolutely. You're so correct on that because to get uh, the, the replays of the first and second episodes, this is the third episode, you can go to Speakers Pathway um, um, Coalition on Facebook. It's a public page. Or you can go to YouTube and look at Speakers Pathway Coalition. We have a YouTube uh, site there. And um, if you have any problem, can't find it or whatever, just you know, get in touch with me, Jim, at uh, speakerspathway.com. Or you can get in touch with Don at speakerspathway.com and just say, hey, where is it at? And we'll be glad to send you a link. And uh, most importantly, may we humbly ask for you to share this link all of our links, all of the information from the speakers, especially the speakers with those that really need to hear it. Because like Barry's message today, man, it was very motivating, very inspiring. And Luda Beata from, you know, she came from Poland and she's just, you know, she's got a tremendous message. So you, all of our speakers have their own individual tremendous message and they can touch the hearts of someone that I can't touch. Or Don, can't, or Don can't touch, so please help us get the word out. And uh, we would greatly appreciate that. And most importantly, think about how much they would appreciate hearing, you know, in positive words during this time because everybody needs inspiration, everyone needs hope, and everybody needs support. I need it, you need it, we all need it because we're social beings. And Don, I tell you, it's just, I'm still amazed at how fast this thing came together, brother. 
Yeah, it's been, it's been quite amazing. And also, if you're a person who's watching this and you're saying, hey, I have a message. I have a message that I would love to share and serve others with whatever it be, whether it could be helping an entrepreneur that's out there worried about their business. If it's someone who's out there who maybe doesn't know how to, how to eat nutritious or cook nutritious foods, or if you have a resource that could be helpful for someone who, who might be struggling. If it's, if you're looking to share a, a positive message like Barry, if you're, you know, whatever it is, if it can be of service, we need you. The world needs Absolutely. you. The universe Absolutely. needs you. And so if you're sitting there and you're not doing anything, then you're kind of cheating the universe. And so I don't want that to happen. And so if you're sitting there with a message and you're thinking, gosh, you know, what should I do? I tell you, just reach me. I'm the one doing all the scheduling for the speakers. So you, Don McGrath, to find me on Facebook or any other way through speakerspathway.com. Reach out to me and say, Don, how do I get part of this party? Because this party is just starting, right, Jim? It really, really is. And we're going to continue on this uh, until we run out of speakers or until we see the return of Haley's Comet, one of the two. I don't know which yet. But because we've got speakers that are, you know, wanting to be part of it. And we're just going to keep this going on and on and on, five days a week. And um, this also includes... Uh, when, when I'm doing the radio show on, on Friday, uh, Don will be here Friday with you. He'll be the host. Our radio show is Your Future Is Now. We're on the Toginet, T-O-G-I-N-E-T dot com, Toginet, T-O-G-I-N-E-T dot com. And we've, uh, we've, Barry was on there this past Friday. And we've had a bunch of guests on there. And you can go to Toginet there on the upper right hand corner just go to shows there and we're all the way it's alphabetical so your futures now is at the bottom you can download any of the podcasts there listen to them uh we've got uh, about 49 uh, podcasts we've done since we started the program in april and please uh if you would subscribe and share to that too if there's any way that we can help you in any way um if you want don's a five step uh Kick butt uh, guide to uh, TED Talks. Don, talk a little bit about that. You're the speaking geek, brother. I am. I, I just love speaking. Jim, you know, I just geek out about it. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I really, I've been told I, I'm, I'm kind of maybe one of the better speaker trainers that there are out there. And I'll, I, I have a hard time with stepping into that and owning it. But doggone it, I'm going to today because <laughs> uh, the world needs it. And so one of the things that I've done, I had the honor of being a, a coach at a TEDx event last year, and I learned a ton about TEDx. I learned a ton about TED. Of course, I know and have learned over the past decade or two decades about speaking. So I decided to put together some training around how to find TEDx stages that are right for you, how to apply to them and win them, how to put together a great TED Talk that gets a lot of views how to deliver it, and then how to make the most of it once you have it. So this is, uh, like I said, like Jim said, go to speakerspathway.com. I have a five simple steps to your kick butt TED Talk, and it outlines, you know, in brief, kind of what those steps are. Absolutely, and, and uh, I'd just like to point out that Don was um, – the original trainer down there for the TEDx talk was actually could not make it. And Don was summons on the spur of the moment to go down there and pick up the ball. And he did that. He went from Colorado Springs to Cocoa beach, Florida. And it just really shows the heart that it takes to be a speaker. And Don has also done a, a training for uh, rotary members, help them with their talks. So whatever your talk is, whatever you need help in, uh, please get that guide and uh, give, get in touch with Don. He'll be glad to help you, give you some advice and, you know, and just take full advantage of that because now is the time for all of us to share our blessings and invest in ourselves. That's, that makes so much more sense than sitting around and being bored, doesn't it? It does. And, you know, one of the things that Jim and I try to do at all our events is, you know, we don't create some big fancy stage with you know only high paid speakers who come no we like to we like to serve those who have a message but maybe who aren't sure how to get it out there and at our training events we create what we call a safe stage this is a virtual safe stage 
No one's here to critique you. No one's here to measure you against anyone else. This is all about clarifying your message and getting it out there in a big way. So if you're a little concerned, like, I don't know if I should do this, take, this is a safe stage. We created this just for people like you. Absolutely. And then let me use myself as an example. We just jumped into this thing. I know a little bit about Zoom, but being the host and cutting on cameras and off cameras and putting the spotlight camera on and all that, you know, I'm going to make mistakes. That's okay because it's not about me. It's all about the people and their message. And that's keep that in mind because if you want to be a perfectionist, guess what? You will never squeeze the trigger. It's kind of like a, a Boone Pickens used to say, he says, I get tired of these people to just aim, 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 at least squeeze the trigger and see if you're going on the target, you know? <laughs> and that is so true. Just and because uh, actually being action. a, yeah, because actually being a perfectionist actually paralyzes you. Absolutely. You can't grow and grow if you're, if you're a perfectionist. So yeah, we're about out of time, sir. Yeah, we're just about out of time. So if you, if you're a speaker, Hey, we wanted to sh share with you, you know, why we're doing this a little bit about who we are, where we come from, our why, if you want more information, go to speakerspathway.com or reach out to Jim and I, we're more than happy to connect with you. And I guess until tomorrow, Jim, right? Absolutely. In closing, I just want to remind you again, tomorrow's our guest will be Bill Heinrichs. He's going to be talking about surviving versus thriving. Uh, Brian Williams is going to be talking about working from home and your virtual team productivity, how to increase that. And Bridget Keene, how laughter can help make us during, during, through these tough, tough times here. And I started smiling when I started reading about how laughter can do that because I'm really looking forward to that. Now, on behalf of Dandy Don McGrath, that's the way he's known on the radio as Dandy Don. I'm Jim Grant. Thank you so very, very much for joining us today. And we hope and pray that this will be a blessing to you and others. Please share and please subscribe. And if we can help you, please let us know. We'll be back tomorrow with episode number four. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.